certainly you were impressed this time. That was fast. <laughs> I could do better. Anyone could. <laughs> Scusate. I'm trying to find the boat to Venezia. You're nearly there, friend. Are you in a hurry? Perhaps not. You can help us settle a dispute. I bet my friend here, the first stranger to come along, can race the course faster than him. I suppose that would be me. And if you're right, what do I win? Perhaps a private riding lesson? Lend me a horse. Where did the others go? Home with their tails between their legs. They couldn't stand to be beat. Nicely done, Miss Siri. Call me Ezio. I still have some time for that private lesson. It would be my pleasure, Ezio. Call me Amelia. What does it mean? I told him to be here. You told him yourself? In person? Yes, myself, in person. I'm concerned that you don't trust me. As am I. Perhaps you'll arrive with the others. Walk with me. So, how go things in the palace? Honestly, it's difficult. Mosinigo keeps his circle close. I've tried to lay the groundwork, making suggestions, but he has other voices at his ears. Then you must work hard. You must become part of his inner circle. See, si, I understand. But it's harder than I expected. And why is that, Carlo? I don't know. He just... Uh, the Doge doesn't like me. I wonder why. It's not my fault. I keep trying to please him. I learn what he craves, and I have it delivered. The finest jams from the orchards of Sardinia. The newest fashions from Milano. Yes, and that's called being a sycophant. The a what? What did you call me? A doormat. A flatterer. A bootlicker. Need I go on? Stop. You don't know what it's like. You don't understand the pressure in there. Oh, I don't understand pressure. No, you have no idea. You are a government official. I am two steps from the door himself. I am beside him day and night. You wish you could be where I am. I'm done. Harvey, you listen to me now. I am close. The Doge can be recruited to our cause. I'm sure of it. I just... I need a little more time. 
Time is not a thing we have in great supply. You need to relax, Monsieur. <laughs> well, well, there's silence. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed 2. Um, obviously, we're telling these two guys, one of which I don't recall seeing before, and the other one, pretty sure he was at the palace. Sit down inside somewhere. Do you know anywhere truly safe to discuss things such as these? I've already spent $300 on courtesans, which... It's not that great, but 300 floating is not dollars. <laughs> and it looks like I just lost the other two right now, or not. We thought Emilio would be with you. Emilio is dead. What? How? The assassin. The same one who hunted down the Patsy. He's here in Venezia. Hey, Cousy. Silvio, did you not know? He could be anywhere. He could be here right now, and we might not even know. He struck Emilio inside his own palazzo. And so? What of our plans? There is no longer time for subtlety, my brothers. We must act now. But Marco, I'm so close. A few more days, if I can just... No. It happens this week. We should keep moving. It's not a bad idea, but what are you guys planning? You can ask him yourself soon enough. He's here? From Roma? So I've heard. Good. Perhaps he's made a decision. About what, cousin? Fuck off. About which of us shall step into the robes of the dog? I didn't know there was a decision to be made. Surely the choice is obvious to all. Obvious indeed. It should be the one who organized the entire operation. The one who came up with the idea. Oh, bullshit. They just appeared out of nowhere. You saw that, right? There is no lack of value in tactical intelligence, good Silvio. But it is wisdom one needs to rule. Do not think otherwise. Can you guys hurry it up? Please. There's no need for you. You know it's not up to either of you. For all we know, you may not even choose a barbarian. God damn it. And why not me? I'm the one who's done all the hard work. Basta! We wait for his arrival. Are you sure he's coming? Not at all, yes. but for now, I'm gonna have to be. We should move a little faster. I feel eyes on us. Is that so? Wonder who it could be. Couldn't be me. You can be thinking of me, are you? We will move at your pace. Your pace is really goddamn slow. How much did you pay for him? Perhaps not as much as he deserves. He saved my life on two occasions, though he's not much of a conversationalist. It's pretty good in that line of work, actually. Oh crap! I landed. I'm on the floor now. The choice of Dodger was never up to any of you, and you were never given permission to make plans. Forgive us, Maestro. We wish only to serve. The plan is this: Dodger Mocheni will die tonight, and once that it's been done, Marco shall take his place. We ringrazio umilmente, maestro. <clears throat> Good. Messer Grimaldi, you are closest to Mocenico. You work the most vital. Serve us well, and it won't be forgotten. Welcome. Oh shit, there I am. I see myself in the back. <laughs> I don't want any blood. Oh crap, okay. It must appear to all that he goes quiet. When are you closest to him? I have full run of the palace. He may not care to hear what I have to say, but he trusts me by now as one of his own. Bravo. Then I want you to infiltrate the kitchen and poison his meal. So be it. Marco, 
Can you furnish us with a suitable toxin on short notice? I defer to my cousin. That is really his area of expertise. I don't know why I can't just jump down and kill them all. It would be so much easier. But if I do that, I'll fail. I will confer with my associates in Shoot. Okay. Chances are good that I can procure some Oh god. Oh, it's a little farther than I thought. It's a most effective form of arsenic and difficult to trace. I just didn't want to climb all that, so I'd rather go around. I don't make that jump. I don't have to make that jump. There's a thing over here. And I don't have to fucking pay for courtesans anymore, which is great. Now we're... Through that rickety-ass bridge right there. Okay. So how are you guys doing? I'm doing alright. We played a lot of games this weekend. A lot of them. We got Fall Guys, Fortnite. I'm planning to play Evil Dead a little later with Martin. Should be a very good week for content. Forgive me, Maestro, but is this not perhaps a tad dangerous for you? Involving yourself so intimately with the minutiae of our plans. I feel the need to involve myself more directly. The Patsy disappointed us in Firenze. I pray you will not do the same. Do not worry this time. The Patsy were a bunch of foolish... The Patsies were a potent and venerable family, reduced to rubble by one young assassin. Do not underestimate this troublesome foe, who now haunts your city. Or the same fate will befall the Barbarico. I want this done promptly. Bene. I'm not there. Let's return to Roma. Time is of the essence. Do not fail us. And mission over, I think, right? I should have kept my eyes on them. I need to go and see Antonio if I have any hope of salvaging this mess I've made. Three thousand, not bad, not bad. All right. So, last episode, I went a little, like, uh, cut-happy. So, I think I'll just fast-forward until I get there. So, yeah, I'll see you guys there. Alright, and we're back. We're over here to see Antonio, the guy we put kind of in power. Salute, bello mio. Come stai? You back to see me already? Of course. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Isolato, no. mia cara, but I am not here to play. I must speak with Antonio. It's urgent. Antonio! Ezio's here! Well, you don't have to leave that. Okay. You're good. Ezio, is everything all right? No, everything is not all right. Maldi and the Barbarigo are in league with the one they call the Spaniard. They're going to murder the Doge and replace him with one of their own. They will have all of Venezia. Their entire fleet in their grasp. And they call me a criminal. Then you'll help me. You have me on your side, brother. And the support of all my men. And women. Grazie, amici. But, Ezio, I must warn you. It's not going to be so easy this time. Palazzo Ducale is the most heavily guarded building in Venezia. Nothing is impenetrable. <laughs> this is why we like you, Ezio. Come, let's go take a look. We'll come up with a plan. I'm not going to touch that. I'm not going to touch that. It's all right. Uh, if at first you don't succeed, what? Am, am I going to actually have to do something this time, or am I just going to have to follow people? Terrible. Though, treachery like this no longer surprises me. When I was a child, we were taught that no good were just and kind. I believed it. Though my father was only a cobbler, and my mother a scullery maid, I aspired to be much more. I studied hard. I persevered. But the nobles would never have me. If you are not born one of them, acceptance is impossible. So I ask you, Ezio, who are the true nobles of Venezia? Men like Carlo Grimaldi and Marco Babarigo. No, I say we are the thieves and mercenary. 
and holds. <laughs> okay. We work to save this city and its people. The nobles seek to make it their plaything. Uh, are you are you done with your discourse? Because I'm here. We need to scout the palazzo carefully. See it from every angle. We just might find a way in. I know of a tall campanile behind the palazzo, or we might find a way to climb the back of the basilica. Do you have any ideas? I have one. I assume the front door is out. <laughs> Va bene. We'll try the front door as well, Saputello. Qui, let's do it. Though I don't remember how I did it exactly. All right, we're just scouting. We don't really have to do much, which is good. So, what do you think? We're not getting in this way. They'll have time to murder the Doge before we're able to get through all these guards. Fall in. All right, so not that way, obviously. Then let's get moving. Let's keep scoping out the palace, even though I mean, I myself am not looking at it. Because I'm just looking at Antonio. Whoops, my bad. We don't want to fight you. Yet. We will. We'll get there. Where the hell are we going now? Are we over here? What the fuck? Also, I did get all the chests. I did get um, all the viewpoints in this area. You could have just climbed up, Etsy. No need for all that fancy shit. No. Wow, how fucking far am I going? Come on. Apparently really freaking far. Because he's still going. He's still climbing. Oh, luckily there's a ladder right there. So that does help out a little bit. Is that always there? I have no idea. Antonio, you want to hurry your ass up there, man? As far as I know, you're not... You know, hurt or injured or anything. Oh, this could take a while. Come on. There you go. Congratulations. Look now what? That. Archers everywhere. And the walls are impossible to climb on this side. Segue me. So, not that way. Is he really going to climb all the way down? Well, I mean, I, I guess not everyone could do the swan dive. Swanda fucking... what's it called? I have no idea what it's called, I'm gonna be honest with you. So the last time I got into this building to get a uh, chest... Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on, man! I'll fast forward until he's here. I'll be right back. Do you see the shit I have to deal with? He's in the wall. He's in the wall. Unfucking believable. Is there a way to like restart this mission, abort mission? You know what? I'm just gonna die. Be right back. All right, he's freaking here, goddamn. What's up with that bullshit, man? Fix your game, Ubisoft, even though this came out like in 2009 or some shit. <laughs> anyway, we do have a very good vantage point over here. Through the back door, as one, one, one might say. I said might, okay? Okay, interesting. Park our way down. Grab hold of that. Do not take damage. That's your fucking swear. Alright. We're good. We should be good as long as this guy gets here pretty freaking quickly. You wanna hurry up there, Antonio? Come on. Come on. Walk it over. Don't you fucking start. Let's go. There you go, Jesus. Hey, we're in luck. Looks like there's a perfect path up the scaffolding to the roof of the basilica. Shall we? 
We were already up there. We were already up there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Alright, this this level in particular is kinda of like pissing me off. It's just a little bit, just a little bit. Tony, I got your ass over here now. And it doesn't help that he's slow. He's like considerably slower than I am. Like the Vorpe would just like teleport it's over here, which we haven't seen in a while, by the way. Grimaldi, don't you understand what I'm offering you, Signore? Listen to me, please. Or this will be your last chance. How dare you? I'm sorry. Mi dispiace. I meant nothing by it. I'm only looking out for your safety. We're running out of time. There's no way through this fence, and there are guards everywhere. Diavolo! Andiamo. It's impossible. There's no way in or out for men. Only birds. Yes. Birds. Where are you going now? To see my friend Leonardo. Well, we're gonna go see Leonardo. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna run all the way over there, because again, I got very cut happy last episode, and ideally I don't want to do that. If it goes over 300 meters or feet, then yeah. Then yeah, I will go ahead and do that. All right, and we're back over here to Leonardo. And I mean, do you guys remember when we brought him up and he had something in the back of his wagon? I need your help, Leonardo. Does it work? What? What are you asking? Does it work, Leonardo? Can it really fly? I don't know. It's only a prototype, an idea. It's not ready yet. Have you tried it? No. It's too dangerous. To test it, you'd have to leap off a tower. Who would be mad enough to do a thing like that? Leonardo, I think you just found your madman. Damn right, let's do this shit. I'm gonna become a real life superhero. So, how does she work? Have you ever watched a bird in flight? It's not about being lighter than air. It's about grace and balance. You must use your body's own weight to control your elevation and direction. Good luck, Ezio. Yeah, something tells me I'm gonna need it. Oh, crap. Okay. Why am I crashing? This is ridiculous. The Palazzo's too far away. Diablo, I give up. I'm gonna end up killing myself before I ever kill another Templar. I mean, I think you're doing pretty well. I'm using the Arkham style of gliding, just like diving and then going back up. Even though I am losing height, gradually. But I mean, overall, that's not bad. That is not bad. I mean, I don't think I was supposed to go up for that long, but... I am. How are we gonna get this from the water? Leonardo? Where are you? Fuck! Okay. And there you go. <laughs> I mean, not too far. It, we landed in water pretty gracefully. I can't believe it! It worked! It really worked! You flew, Ezio! You flew! See? But not very far. Well, what were you expecting? The machine wasn't designed for distance. Alright, look. Let me go over my plans here. Maybe I can find some way to extend the duration of the flight. Ezio, my men tell me Carlo has the poison. We must hurry. Antonio, this is Leonardo, the master inventor who built this... this petro de merda. <laughs> hey, it's not the machine's fault. It's mine. I checked and rechecked my blueprints. It's just impossible. I don't know how to extend the flight. Ah, que idea del cazzo! And that's how. 
Ideas are born. What is he doing now? It rises, it meets fire. It under its wings will lift the machine. Leonardo, what good is one fire going to do? Not one fire, Ezio. A dozen, built all across the city. Enough to carry you from here all the way to the Palazzo Ducale. How? Ah, oh, capisco. My men could do that, but you are forgetting about the guards. Don't worry. I will take care of them. I will. I'll give the order to have my men moving behind you and hold the locations. They light them all up the second the sun goes down over San Marco. Yeah, right, I guess we're gonna try that shit again. <laughs> Seems kind of dangerous, but okay. All right, we're killing guards now. Yay! Some murders. Some murder about goddamn time. Hey, man. <laughs> No one saw that. They still haven't yet, haven't even fallen yet. Once they fall on each other, then that would be pretty weird. But I guess that could work as well. Um, is there a way? Super clear? Nope. Damn it. Okay. Okay. I thought I missed everything. I mean, I did. I just didn't fall to my death, which is always a plus. I don't really have to pay attention to this guy, which is good. Yeah. Ah, uh, crap. It's all the way across the water, really? Yeah, it looks like it. Fuck. Okay, here we go. Into the disgusting wonders of Venezia. Not like I really have a choice. But hey, maybe after that we can heat the flying machine and then that's how we could traverse. I don't think we will. I don't remember if we do. I'm pretty sure we don't. But, yeah. <laughs> God damn, how many goddamn areas are there? You've no, business here. no, I don't. Alright, I don't have to clear that area out, which is good. I do have to clear out one of these. Come on. Bring it on. Alright. Alright, maybe I do need this, because there are a lot of people now. And then taking you, you, taking the brute down, should be able to clear that area, I think. Well, luckily for me, they didn't notice anything. That's two areas clear? Great. Wonder if they have smoke bombs. I probably don't, but it would be good to have. These guys are on the other side of the palace. It looks like. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm not sure what that was. I'm sorry. <laughs> My voice just dropped down a lot. All right, more archers, huh? Easy. All right. As long as it's not a brood up here, we should be fine. I shouldn't, but I am. I'll send you to your grave. You die. You motherfucker. And back to the sword. All right, and we need to take care about that guy over there. No, I shouldn't. And that's area number three. We're supposed to go back for another one. Go ahead and do that. But yeah, my throwing knives are honestly really ineffective in this area, which sucks. This is you. What the hell are we guarding anyway? A shipment from China. Some kind of colored powder they brought over for a big party. Really expensive. You ask me. The way these nobles spend their money. And there you go, we're done. No, we're not doing this right now. My job is finished. Before 
Anyway, we'll meet you there. And we're back. It's time. You did it. It's beautiful. See. Now let's hope your idea works. Because we're nearly out of time. Listen close, Ezio. You're going to want to fly from fire to fire. The heat of each one you pass over should lift you back up in the air again. Bene. Careful, though. There's archers out on the roofs tonight. Avoid those arrows, or it will be a short trip. I wish there was some way I could use my sword while flying these things. <laughs> well, you do have your feet free. If you get close enough without taking an arrow in the head, maybe you could kick them off the building. Nice. It's now or never, amico mio. All right, here we go. We're going to try and do this again. And hopefully I don't die. But yeah, it should be fun, right? Makose! Shoot! Shoot a flying demon! Yeah, that's what it is, a flying demon. So my point of this is basically to fly over the fires and try not to lose any momentum. Easier said than done. And I accidentally like fucked up there, so yeah, it's because I don't know where the fires are. I, they have like a, I want to say a predetermined location, but they kind of don't. I just need to look for the fires in the distance, which I didn't do ahead of time. Ah, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Lucky me, I guess. Where is the palace, man? All right, it's that way somewhere. I could do the thing I was doing earlier, just to extend my flight just a little bit. I don't... ow. I was going to say, I don't have to worry about these guys that much, but... One arrow literally just hit me in the face, so that's fun. And I mean, we're almost practically there. Flying machine did take a little bit of damage, but not a lot, which is good. And yeah, we're, I mean, we're here. We made it. We extended our flight enough to actually make it to this thing. I say as I'm falling gracefully. <laughs> awesome, we made it. All right, now what? Well, he's dead. And that's broken. What was that? Don't worry. Probably just kids with firecrackers. Come, it's your move. Something tells me I'm late. Crap. Okay. Uh, do I have to go all the way around? I might have to. Eccolo! What? What? Whatever, man. Alright, this is the way to go. This is my fourth attempt now. You just keep going down. Fuck! Really? No you don't! No you don't, fuck off! I don't know you! Fuck away from me! No I wasn't! God damn it! I don't wanna like toss myself over the fucking edge but this guy's like right fucking there! Okay. I think we're good. Stop! Signore, don't drink that! You are too late! The Doge is dead. What? Carlo? Apologies, Signore. But you should have listened to me when you had the chance. Seems you have failed, Assassin. God damn Forgive it. me, Signore. I tried. Why? What was it all for? <laughs> Assassino! Assassino! Oh, good. The Doge is dead! 
Well, you didn't get too far either, so my job's complete on that one. He's one assassin to kill another, it seems. We kill thinking it's best for us. Do we not, Messer Renzio? I do this not for myself. Compio questo sacrificio per il bene superiore. Requiescat in pace. You killed me? You killed me? I hope you weren't pointing at me. Oh crap. Well, lucky for me, I could just do that. Uh, Alright, I see an exit over there. Should be good. Shit. Move! Alright, I should just escape the area and I should be good. No, nope, I gotta become anonymous. Of course I do. How long can I go? A, a good long while, actually. Take that as you want. I don't know. Hey, feather. Nice. I didn't even mean to get that. God damn it. Fuck off. God damn it. How many people are here? No. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm get, I'll get down, I'll get down, don't, don't worry. I had nothing to do with any assassinations that happened in the last, I don't know, five minutes or so. Alright, we're good, we're good. We should be good, they can't catch up to us. Please? Nice, 6,000, that's awesome. Ah, uh, codex page acquired, that's nice. I think I got like four more to go on that one. I think. I think. Now, are you taking me out of the Animus? Am I going to the next section of the game? What's happening? I need to know. Fourteen eighty six, Venezia. I don't want to read the whole thing, man. If you want to read it, go for it. If you're such an Italian export, export, <laughs> expert. I can hardly master English. That's all I'm. That's all I'm gonna say. Ooh, there's a temple somewhere, but we got a mission to do. So let's go ahead and do that. Is it true? They say you killed the Doge. I was trying to save him, Leonardo. But the truth matters little. I failed. And now I'm the most wanted man in Venezia. Well, perhaps you are in luck. It's Carnevale in Venezia. This is the time when everybody goes without a face. That's why I'm here. Do you have a mask I can wear? Of course, of course. Somewhere in here. Grazie, amico mio. I have something for you. In the codex page. Oh, more of the codex. Aha. This one's quite complex. Hmm. It's a new design, my friend. A mechanism for your wrist, but not a blade. In fact, it seems to be a kind of arma da fuoco. But as small as a hummingbird. Is that possible? I have no idea. Let's build it and find out. <laughs> and hopefully I don't lose my hand in the process. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. It should be way more effective than my blades. Which is always good. Oh, fire, ice cream, fire truck, ice cream truck. I'll be right back.
All right, unfortunately, my aim was a little bit off, as you saw, but I mean, that looks to be a very potent weapon. You've done me good, brother. Macerto, but I'm sure your return was not just to play with new toys. Is it about this terrible new dodge they've installed, Marco Barbarico? Then you'll want to speak with your friend Antonio. I've seen him quite a bit lately at uh, a mutual friend's. I'd look for him there, in the Dorsodura district, to the south. Ask for Sister Teodora. Sister? Well, then, <clears throat> in a way, yes, Sister. And Ezio, you can't be carrying weapons out there today. Grazie, Leonardo. Now, how about that mask? Nice. Wait, am I wearing a mask? I am wearing a mask. Look at that. All right, cool. Uh, okay. We got a pistol, we got a bunch of whole bunch of nice shit. We're gonna go ahead and do the Assassin's Tomb, and I think we can end this episode and, and do the carnival shit, like, next episode. Sound fun? Great. Thank you. Alright, everyone, we're back here at the Assassin's Tomb. I think this is gonna be number six, right? And I think we can finally get... Uh, Altsire's armor. Even though it looks very similar to Ezio's armor, but in black. So yeah, but I'll save it. I won't. I won't get it immediately. There's something that needs to happen in the game, and well, in my point of view, and then I could get the armor. Makes sense. Even though it is the best armor in the game. Anyway, we're here. There is something moving over there in that haystack. Sit back down. We're in the middle of playing a tarot game. Uh, no, this time I saw something. I know it. That's what you say every time. <laughs> <laughs> you were right. There was something in the haystack, you feminucha. I'm tired of your jokes. This isn't funny. I could have been killed. By that. Hey, man. How's it going? Front pasta. Motherfucker. All right. It's one another one of these things. I hate them, but, I mean, they add some, like, I don't want to say tenseness. Is that even a word I'm looking for? I don't know. Leave me alone. Some suspense, I guess. Seeing if I can actually catch him this time, because... I mean, I couldn't last time. I couldn't the first time, which sucks, but... It is what it is. I could probably shoot him with my gun, but it takes too much to... Fuck! Really? <laughs> I'm a face again. Yes, you are. Congratulations. I mean, in the end, you're gonna die, but... Re regardless if you call the other guards or not. See, I think that takes up too much time just to scale things, in my opinion. But... It's not like I'm given much of a choice here. Like, he's gonna make it. He's gonna fucking make it. Like, where am I supposed to go now? Here? Move, Ezio! Goddamn! Leave me alone. Like, is he gonna make it? He's gonna fucking make it. We're under attack, guards. Yep, he's gonna make it. He made it. Oh, I actually got him. Fuck. Okay. I mean, I can kill them if I really wanted to. I don't, but... I can. They're over there. They're all over here. Hey, you don't see me. It's alright. We'll just make our way over here, and you guys are none the wiser. Oh, good. It's another one of these. Uh, I know there's a thing you could do here.
All right, I couldn't get it to activate, unfortunately. So you'll just have to take my word for it. It's like this squid monster, like a kraken thing. You're supposed to peer over the edge over here, and it should appear. But it didn't. I don't know if they took it out of the Ezio collection or whatever, but... Yeah. <laughs> I honestly wasn't paying attention to what area I was supposed to go in. But we will make do. Like, if you do it enough times, like, a tentacle should come out and get you. It'll fail, obviously, but... It's a cool visual. It's, ve it's a very interesting visual. Not one I expected from this game, but... But nonetheless... So I'll go ahead and cut all those attempts. If I can find a video, I, I guess I'll show it, but... My editing skills aren't that far up yet. <laughs> number three it's obviously gonna make an assassin symbol where am I going where am I going not that way fuck god damn it I can't see a damn thing here Ah, I was going that way. Amazing. Okay, great. Mm. Now, how do I get back? Is a question. Because it's just the one switch, right? It looks like it. But it does look like I have to go all the way around just to activate that shit again. So that's no fun. Really? Get out of the water, Ezio. Fucking hell. Doesn't help that it's super dark in here. Really doesn't. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> now, serious, where the fuck do I go? I'm supposed to get over there, but do I just die for it? I guess I do. Like an octopus monster, which you may or may not believe me, will fucking get me and kill me. It's fucking hot. It's gotten really, really hot. Ezio, get up! Fucking hell. Hurry the fuck up. No. Get off. Fucking Ezio, move, motherfucker! See that bullshit? See what I had to deal with? Ezio! Jesus Christ. All right, are we good? Is it starting? All right, we're moving. And we're fucking up! That's great. Thank you, Ezio. Thanks for that. Gonna go ahead and fucking reset this, because fucking piece of shit. Ezio. Ezio! Ezio! Fucking flip the switch! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the shit I have to deal with. Okay. Here we go again. You know, with the amount of stuff I have to deal with, I think I might just do one episode this week, because it's hot. It's too hot. It's too hot, it's too hot. Okay, where the fuck am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to, like, jump for it? I can't, exactly. What about this way? Okay, that's better, I guess. Alright, yeah, that looks promising. Great. <sighs> Okay, that's number four. I'm gonna turn on the fan for a bit, cause fuck that shit. 
I hope you can't hear it that much from where we, from where you are, but it's hot and I need it. Okay. That does actually seem pretty loud. I can hear it through my headphones, which is not good for the audio, but it's good for my health. I'll turn it down a little bit. You couldn't land on the thing at you? Okay. Okay. I will turn it down a little bit. It's actually too loud. That should hopefully be better, but we'll see. Open sarcophagus. Fuck you. I hate this tomb so much. How many chests are in here? Just one. It looks like three. There's one over there somewhere. No, four. Nice. Make it worth my while, because that is some fucking bullshit, okay? And I will take away the eagle vision in a little bit, so just give me a second, will you? Right. There you go. I mean, it's not like I need the money, but... Yeah. <laughs> is that number six? I'm trying to remember. Or is that number five? Oh, six of six. Very nice. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys a little later. Bye.